Yeah! I'm in the car, man. Another dark video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show a face sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? But it's another dark video. If I pass some light, y'all will see me. But other than that, this will be dark. All right, so listen here. <clears throat> Women need brutal honesty. Women need brutal honesty. There is a lack of brutal honesty in women's lives. Yes, there is a lack of brutal honesty in women's lives. See, y'all gotta understand this about women. I, I know I ran across a lot of women. I'm just, I'm, I'm not saying I'm, whatever. <clears throat> and so, the thing about women is majority of women are not around brutal honesty. A lot of women don't like the truth if it hurts them. A lot of women love the truth until truth hurts. Women don't like being held accountable. And what's the accountability? Hard truths. Cold hard facts. That's what accountability is. You did this wrong and you need to own up to it. That's what accountability is. Owning up to your shit. And a lot of times your shit is brutal honesty. That doesn't feel good. A lot of times it doesn't feel good to be accountable. If you've hurt somebody or if you've done something wrong and it's a known fact that you've done something wrong and it's time to say you've done something wrong, then they're not accountable. Why do you think that men that can't take accountability are feminine? You ever notice that? A lot of men who don't take accountability have feminine ways. They're passive. That's a feminine trait. They don't take initiative. That's a feminine trait. Wait for you to take the lead. Right? That's feminine shit. So, the thing you got to understand is a lot of Like shit in the way. A lot of women are not around brutal honesty. You got some women that are around brutal honesty, but for the most part, majority of women are not around brutal honesty. They're around people that give them validation, and they're around people that tell them the truth when it benefits them. A lot of women love the truth when it benefits them. And a lot of women take accountability as long as it's not hard accountability. Now, I'm not making this video to bash women or harp on women. I'm providing awareness. Because you have to understand, a woman will be accountable about... Okay, I'm going to give you all a situation, right? Let's say a woman leaves out... Um, she leaves out some, some, some pie. Let's say a woman leaves some apple pie on the counter overnight instead of putting it back in the fridge. Or let's say a woman leaves some ice cream out in, on the counter <laughs> instead of putting the ice cream back in the refrigerator or the freezer, right? So a woman will leave ice cream out of the freezer and not put it back. I hate when niggas do that shit. Don't fucking drive beside me, bro. Drive in front of me or behind me. Don't fucking drive beside me. All right, so a woman will leave ice cream out and the ice cream will melt. She'll take accountability for that. <laughs> oh, you know what, boo? I left the ice cream out. I'm so sorry. I take full accountability. That's my fault. I left the ice cream out. I'll buy you another one. Boom. Women will take accountability for that all day. Because that's easy accountability. It's not hard accountability. But as soon as that woman get caught cheating... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as that same woman get caught cheating, let's say, oh, let's say as a man, you was like, yo, I went through your phone, I saw some shit, who is Kevin? 
Oh no, well Kevin is just somebody I work with. Okay, well I hired a private investigator. I saw you and Kevin. I followed y'all to the hotel and I saw y'all fucking. First thing I heard mouth, why the fuck you follow me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Like, fuck all that other shit that you just saw her fucking Kevin. Fuck all that. She gonna wanna know why you followed her to the telly. Why? Cause that's hard accountability. They don't like that. She not gonna take hard accountability. Fuck with that. She gonna take her dick, but she will not take hard accountability. Some women will, but not most. You have two percent of women. 2% of women that will be accountable whether it's good or bad and they will want the honest truth and they want the brutal honesty. But 98% of y'all, y'all don't want brutal honesty. Y'all would rather have validation because you have a father wound. You have a mother wound. So since your parents didn't give you the validation you needed, you now look for it through other things. Boy, I'm preaching tonight, boy. Ooh, ooh, Bible study. I'm about to name this the Jim Jones Bible study channel. I'm dropping motherfucking gems, boy. <laughs> You're not about to sit up in this house with kick feet up. You not. I'm going to make you bounce out this hall like Big Frida. You got to stop playing with these women, bro. Y'all playing. And allowing them to skate off and do dumb shit. That's why a real man will force his woman to be accountable. Why the fuck are we hitting brakes, bro? It's nine o'clock, bro. The fuck are we doing, bro? Hit the fucking gang. It's on the fucking freeway, man. Shit, boy, I tell you, they can't drive in Richmond. But, shit, man. Yeah, man, if you, if one thing you got, see, this is the thing. Simps don't hold women accountable because they don't call them out because they want to keep the peace. Simps want to keep the peace. So instead of calling her out, he will just go, go with the flow. A real man not going with the flow and a real man calling a woman out on her fuck shit. Straight up. That's why when you go on social media, prime example. Prime example. I saw a post on Facebook that said there's no such thing and a woman posted this. A woman posted this. She said, there's no such thing as a sad dude. You're just a whore letting multiple men fuck. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. But you had women in the comments, and what do they do? Well, what about the men? Well, what about the men? Well, it goes both ways, vice versa. Shut the fuck up! She didn't talk about the men. She didn't talk about no fucking vice versa. She put that pressure on you women and you gotta take that. You gotta hold that. Stop trying to flip it on the men. Uh-uh, 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 No, don't flip it on us. We not in this. We not in this. She calling y'all whores out and y'all gotta be accountable. So take that accountability, but instead, a lot of women will deflect instead of be held accountable. Like I said, prime example, her boyfriend followed her and Kevin to the hotel room. She said, I, I, fucking, I fucking saw you. You ever seen a, a woman get confronted by her boyfriend or her husband when she cheated? You ever seen that? You ever seen that? You ever seen a woman get fronted, confronted? By her boyfriend or her husband or whoever when she get caught cheating y'all know what the first thing they do majority of the time they deflect they don't take any accountability i got the scenario look at jada and will accountability what she say you got caught cheating with august oh oh it was an entanglement will said no you were cheating don't fucking call it no entanglement because i don't know what that means that's a four syllable word you're doing too much I need you to talk like Trump. Small words. I don't need all them big words. The fuck is an entanglement? 
Then again, what's that show? Um, Black Ink. Black Ink. Yeah. Yeah. Black Ink. Uh huh. Black Ink. When she um, when that chick with the short hair. I don't know none of their names. I don't even know what the show is about. I just saw a YouTube clip, and homie found his his girl cheating. Homie found his girl cheating, and he tried to call her out in that shit. I, I don't know the whole. She had short hair. He was bald headed. He called her out on her cheating, and she took no accountability. How many times have you seen on TV where the dude to catch shorty cheating, and instead of her saying, you know what? I cheated. I know that hurt you. I take full accountability. I know it gotta be difficult. I apologize for doing that to you. How many times have y'all seen that shit? I haven't seen it. It's rare. Now, if you've seen it, post the link, like and subscribe. But what I'm saying is, this is what I'm saying. <clears throat> Women need brutal honesty. Women need that shit, bro. They need somebody to say, look, I'm not sparing your feelings. This is how it is. This is the truth. The truth helps you. The truth will set you free. The God damn, why is everybody trying to... All right, back, back. All right, I got something to happen. All right, thank you. You're, you're paving the way for me so I can speed. Thank you, sir. I hate driving on the road. It's fucking stupid, bro. But, uh, yeah, the truth will set you free, bro. The truth will set you free. And so a lot of women don't have people telling them the extreme truth because a lot of women don't want the truth. They want validation and easy truth. Easy truth is when it's the truth, but it don't mean nothing. Yeah, like I said, you got the example about leaving the ice cream out and the ice cream melting versus you cheating on your fucking husband or your man. So, I knew you was gonna do that shit. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You need to hold women accountable. And women, y'all need to hold yourselves accountable because if not, you will die alone and be or, or be with a simp. You're gonna be with a simp. You gotta, you gotta wanna hear the truth. And if your friends aren't keeping it real with you, they don't love you. Cause a lot of women, y'all be like, well, I wonder why my female friends didn't tell me. Because your female friends know you. They know you're not trying to hear that shit. <laughs> I'm not about to tell you, I got another shit going on on my own. Instead of telling you some shit that I know you need to hear, but you ain't going to hear it. Because how I know? Because I did that shit in the past, and you didn't do nothing about it. My niggas told me some shit that I needed to hear, and they, they, they fuck with me. I had a buddy of mine say, Chris, if you marry this chick, I'm slapping this shit out you. I ain't like when I heard that shit, but I needed to hear it. And I didn't marry that chick, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad.